Good morning and welcome to another vlog, you guys! The kids are up as well. <laughs> and it is Monday morning and I'm getting ready for the day. I am Mama Deus. And I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a house. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. Time to wrap my head around when it's done. But first off, I'm gonna make myself a coffee going to do a little garden round look at what's come out <laughs> and um, then I think I'll take the doggies for a walk because it's supposed to be not so nice um, later on so I think I'll just take the chance and take the babies for a walk maybe I'll leave that one here because he's a bit sore I find So I got back from the walk with the doggies and some of you might remember that I built this um, outside sofa out of pallets and now I'm trying to rebuild it and put it in this corner because I think it would be quite a cute little hidden corner to just look at the chateau and be here, be chilling out um, and have the table, like I said, I think in the last video over there on the concrete bit. Like this, it's also easier for the yoga and stuff. And even um, if we would have a very traditional yoga class where the teacher doesn't show much, but just talks, it I would fit in even more people on the deck because teacher could just sit um, on top of the sofa and lead the class. So now I built back then just like really rudimental um, back for the sofa and trying to put that on top now. Let's see how it works. And I'm thinking like, maybe I can wrap it in some sort of way with something. Maybe, yeah, I just need to have a look what I could use or if I can find some kind of fabric or something to make it a bit, yeah, you know? And then I'll have to clean it all and yeah. But it's taking shape out here. Now I'm just trying to look for a way to screw the back onto it because I hadn't had this before and to kind of wrap it in something before. So let's have a look. If I still, I think upstairs, I still have a collection of older sheets or maybe we can even just put some wood on top of it. Hmm, let's see. My imagination is sparked. <laughs> Just like anything in the chateau. It's not perfect, but it does serve the purpose. And guests won't ever see it just like this, you know? But at least it's like all covered and um, kind of okay. And I don't have to worry about um, anything. It's all closed up, you know? Like this, I think, yeah. Now I just want to clean it. And then I think I can put the mattresses on it, but I'm gonna get the magic sponges for that to kind of hopefully get everything off it. It's lunchtime and I managed to put at least um, the mattress in. It's all covered from all sides and it's pretty much set up. I will leave the mattresses like they are, packed in their little foil things because like this they're protected from the weather. These are old mattresses <laughs> in the house. And um, I'm gonna put another on top from this pile. Um, and both of them have a sleeve that I made last year out of weather, weather resistant fabric. And um, yeah, then, but I won't put that on yet because it's just like not the temperatures right now anyway. So in case something would get dirty, at least I don't um, have like crazy means to clean it because these are like easy to clean like this because they're all covered and they're really perfectly sealed. <laughs> Managed to put the mattresses on top and now I'm just cooking up some din <laughs> dinner. <laughs> no, I'm cooking up some lunch and um, just lit a fire for the babies. And I will also want to see if I can stop by Grand Frey in Limoges, because I'm thinking like if I'm gonna way, make my way all the way to Limoges anyway, might as well just do a bit of grocery shopping before and they have the best tofu. So um, get some tofu, get some fresh veggies. So we're kind of set for this week and we don't have to 
go to Angoulême until the end of the week. That would be kind of perfect. Sometimes you have those perfect housewife moments. <laughs> I just made muffins, put them in the oven, and this time I went to get rid of all my bottles, which were also piling up, and I went to my boyfriend's house to open everything up and let some air in, and uh, yeah, and just returned back in time. I've got 30 seconds left. Here we go! <laughs> Today I'm really bad at filming. <laughs> and uh, I just packed up the car and we're going to Limoges to pick up my boyfriend. So just did a literal, really fast, quick shopping trip before going to the airport, but I think I might just look into Jardiland because there's one here and why not? And I still got some time. <laughs> I just really love this one. It's so good. <laughs> took some blood. I had took a hyacinth because um, my boyfriend loves white hyacinths. So I thought it'd be cute to bring him one to the airport. Alrighties, we've got everything. Um, and now I'll be on my way to the airport. And this will be perfect. I'll be arriving as soon as he lands. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Welcome to Limoges Airport. So. Let's go and pick him up. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'll talk to you when we're back in Lessignac, I guess. <laughs> Good morning. It is really beautiful outside today. I mean, there's a bit of like cloudy situation behind me, but actually it's really like sunshiny. So I want to take the chance and prepare my last no dig bed maybe maybe i'm thinking to do another bed because the first flowers that i have seeded out are actually like there's little seedlings i'm so looking forward to planting them so i thought of maybe doing a no dig bed in the center for flowers you know like a um just like a flower garden kind of so yeah, like a cutting garden. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> so let's see. But look at this anemone. Just washed my hands because I couldn't film because they were really dirty. But I wanted to show you the last no dig bed that I now made. So that's the last one of them. So I have one here, one there, one there and one there. I still haven't decided what I want to plant in those three exactly, but this one is the salad bed for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna use like every square inch of this garden to, yeah, and then I need to see how it will look because I'm also like, you know, I'm kind of in this phase where I, where I really want to have the garden look nice and I know that it has to come back to life and everything because all of this was dead. All of this was like gravel and dead and plates, concrete plates like these. So I had to like really put a lot of soil and really put a lot of manpower into this um, with my own two hands and revive this garden. And I mean, already looking at this now, it looks so much better and so much lusher. And I think now it's just a matter of like trying things, doing things, really giving the soil time to recover and really like to um, be able to grow stuff here and grow nice flowers and have a nice garden. I think I want, would like a bushy situation somewhere here as well. So to create layers and things like this, but yeah. Just got to sit down because I think if you have a small garden like me, it's really complicated um, to kind of 
get it all combined and not making it look too messy making it look nice you know so it's a thing that takes years <laughs> and sometimes i i tend to rush things or want to you know i want a beautiful garden like it would be out of a home and garden magazine <laughs> but yeah sometimes it's just takes time and you've got to accept it <laughs> quick walk with Aniti and uh, yeah I think it's it's really so crazy that there's like times in February here that you can just wear like a jumper and uh, you don't have to worry about like getting cold it's really warm and mild today um yeah really nice so my plan is to after like doing this because it's supposed to rain from tomorrow on. That's why I wanted to get the no dig bed started. So I want to help my boyfriend around his garden. So we want to use the no rain situation today to do the biggest bits of gardening. And like this we can um, get a lot of stuff done, hopefully. And um, then the next few days we can do stuff that you can do in the rain with a raincoat on and things. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> and that's just part of the stuff we just got out of the cuff. Oh, it's really so much stuff. Crazy. I'm really sorry guys that I didn't film much more. Today it was just like so busy and my body's really dead. But look at this pile that we made for the déchetterie. <laughs> That's how much crap there still was in the cuff. It's just oh, inco incredible, like how much stuff these people left here. So I, because it started raining, I had to put some stuff in the barn that I will then put back into the cuff once it's all tiled. And we managed to do, go halfway. Tomorrow we want to go to Angoulême to do our weekly shopping, maybe have lunch at Garden. I think I would like to have lunch somewhere nice and then yeah go back home my whole body aches and hurts and I just lit a fire my boyfriend's up at his place taking a shower and then we'll see each other for dinner here and I am saying I shall see you tomorrow for a day in Angula. <laughs> Good morning everyone we had a kind of slow start to the day and now I'm just getting ready because, as I mentioned, we're going to Angoulême and um, I just brushed my teeth. It's horrendous weather, it's raining and it's supposed to rain all this time now, so yay. I got a, pile, I got a bit of that pile for, for the déchetterie already in my car because we're eventually going to go um, with the car of my um, boyfriend's aunt because she has a C15 which uh, is quite a workhorse car um, so we're gonna get that one and load it all up with all the stuff that needs to go um, and yeah so that's kind of the plan for hopefully maybe Saturday let's see if we can manage but now we're going to go to Angoulême first. I got my metro card. I applied for a metro card. I don't know. I was talking about metro, like the uh, European Costco. <laughs> and um, so let's see. I'll, uh, we want to drop by there and see because I've never been inside a metro. So we'll see how it, how it is and what, what you can buy and if it's really a bit cheaper or like if it's, if it's good to buy in bulk because that's kind of what they're known for. And uh, then lunch and garden, probably, because I really feel like having a nice lunch. And um, what else? What else? Yeah, shopping, grand frais, and all the usual bits and pieces, you know? Um, so that's the plan for this morning. Let's see. I mean, morning. It's like 10.50. <laughs> We've been really, like, I think I, we woke up at 9. I was like, oh my god, it's 9. But, but this week, anyway, we knew we were going to be slower because my boyfriend's off work um, mainly and I also said like okay you know what I'm just gonna let's do all the things that we want to do so it's kind of this week where 
I guess I, I try to get work managed all around it, so. Hi, Niti. Aniti's gonna stay here. This part was still leaving, but there's still a bit in the car, so I shall see you at the Deche Tree, I guess. Car is empty. So you can see that's just my jacket. Um, yeah, that went really quick. As I said, we were just like, pew, pew, and now a quick stop over at the vet to get um, some stuff for the dog of uh, my boyfriend, and then we'll continue going to Angulem. This is right. Just got back home and I actually wanted to take Anita on a walk once I finished putting all the stuff away. But yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's huge rain followed us down here. Apparently it hasn't rained like this in here. Ooh, well, um, you might have seen that I've been to Metro. Really cool. Really amazing um, to have the access to that now. Very cool. Very cool. Bought like a whole canister. It's like six bottles of wine for 35 euros. If it's good wine, yay. We'll see. We'll see. So it just started to clear up. So I thought I'll uh, give it a go. And did you see? I didn't show you, but there's like a peony I bought, another one. It's called Pink Hawaiian Coral. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. So now I want to call my parents, take Aniti on a little walk because she hasn't been out today. And then we'll get on. But it's blue skies now. <laughs> These two are my newest additions to my family and portrait gallery for the second floor. And I really like, I, I think she's incredibly beautiful. And he also had something about him. So like, I don't know, I just love these kinds of like um, really old portraits and who people who've been following the vlog for a while now will know that. And um, in the second floor, I have this whole gallery of uh, portraits. And now I'm just about to unpack the wine we got from the Metro. And I think, I want to taste it. It's a Bourgueil from 2021. Cuvée de Coteau. We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. Maybe it's good. You know? You'll never know if you don't try. I think it's still a bit too cold. But it smells quite good. I'm not... I'm not a wine, super crazy wine expert. But it's, it's good. It's, it's a bit, it still needs a bit of warmth. But um, other than that, I find it's really good. It's 
very drinkable. I think a Bourgueil is just a really nice, easy wine to drink. You know, just like a no-brainer kind of wine, I find. But because it's also a very light um, red wine. So you know how you sometimes casually just vacuum clean your house and then suddenly you have this urge and this idea. Look at this cutie. Um, to change things up <laughs> and I've been thinking about this I think I've talked in vlogmas I've talked already about it that I would actually like to just have one sofa facing the fire here and two um two footers by the fire and I'm thinking maybe and that's why I have the measure in my hand I'll measure this out and I'm thinking what if we put one of the sofas upstairs in the guest hallway instead of the crapaud that's there and um, maybe we can still fit in like the little table with the two chairs which would be quite cute if not I'm thinking like oh maybe we can fit in the little table somewhere else maybe it can even go in the in the suite I don't know let's try and see or it can be a side table to the sofa I'm not quite sure but I think I want to try and measure it out at least the only trouble is that I'm not really sure if two meters is sufficient, if it's enough space for up here. But we'll see. Let's take a look. And there is the problem that I already thought. The heater just takes so much space, the radiator. So probably it won't be such a good idea to do so, unfortunately. So I'll talk to my boyfriend about it, what he thinks. And then we'll see. I kind of think probably it's not going to work. I've got another like brilliant idea. <laughs> and we want to continue down the calf today. So he's helping neighbors right now at the notary's office at the Nanterre. Um, and then he'll come back and I think I'll prepare a bit of lunch now. Um, just to have something prepared already and then I think I want to do some stretching out and things like this because I haven't done that in a while. And I need to look at some more steps from the piece that I'll be performing in Germany. It's just like, yeah, right now everything seems to be happening at the same time. But then again, it always does, doesn't it? <laughs> you sit down on the mat and that's exactly what happens. <laughs> All the babies come to you and they want to lick your face. and they... <laughs> Working is really hard here. I cannot wait until I have my barn ready and I will have a full functioning studio and I can just go in there and maybe the babies won't follow me there. <laughs> it's just a piece of something in the corner. It's just this. It's a, it's a shovel. So we're done and now I'm about to sweep in polymer filling and that's why I'm wearing a mask because it's very dusty and I think it's everywhere so um, better be safe than sorry, right? <laughs> and that's sealed now. So I just had to seal it with water and uh, now it has to rest f like this for 24, at least for 24 hours, um, but better for 48 it says. And then we'll see, we'll see where this goes how it goes i mean it's a bit of a mess in here right now um but we're getting there we're getting there the wind is howling like crazy it's been like two days i think when we really tried to arrange ourselves with the rain and the wind that's been going on it's just been so crazy so I'm gonna end the vlog here. My little growing station flew all across the garden and all my seeds are lost. It's kind of cold and it's wet and it's really disgusting. It's Sunday. And yep, yeah, I just need to kind of check if the house is doing okay because it's really hitting the house really hard. And it's very unusual because the weather never hits the facade of the house. It's because we're facing south. Um, and usually all the all the weather comes from the west right so it's kind of really bizarre and like i don't know i'm just really hoping nothing happens to the house so i'm gonna end right here and i will talk to you next week 
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it. I'm really sorry that it's kind of a messy video, but um, yeah, it's been a messy week. So I don't, it's been too, lots of many different things happening. And um, yeah, I shall see you all back on Wednesday. A bientôt et au revoir. Bisous from the very rainy, floody southwest of France. Wish me luck. Thank you.